I'm alive. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. I am so excited about this single, Bosi. We've been playing it nonstop. Congratulations. All right. Thank you very much. I'm sort of psyched myself, man. It's a... Uh, you know, it's a dream come true to be on a record, living the dream. But, um, yeah, everyone loves this record. And uh, I'm slightly jealous that I don't have Idris Boom Boom as a name. That would be my name. Well, yeah, hey, listen, man, you can make it work, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're the sexiest man alive, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can make Boom Boom work without a doubt. <laughs> so what made you want to create Boasty with uh, Wiley and Sean Paul and Stefan Don? Yeah, yeah, I love this tune. You know, I was a fan of the tune. The tune was out before I said to Wiley, look, I love this. Can I remix it? He was like, sure. Um, and then when I when I sent him the remix, I had Steph London on it. I had, you know, Sean Paul on it. He lost his mind. And then the record has just been picking up steam. It's crazy. We shot that video, and the video is sick. People love the video. The video actually really helped the song. You know, I love the video. I love, I love especially your part in it. Where you're just like kind of like doing what you do. It's just, I love it. Oh, wicked. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it just looks natural and fun. Yeah. You know what? I think that, you know, listen, I'm a grown man. You know what I mean? Like grown men rapping in videos. That's hard these days. But <laughs> having fun of it. Just, just do it, you know? You know, it's it, for me, like, because, you know, I, obviously I, I've seen you in so many different things like The Wire and, of course, you know, multiple shows and movies. And, I mean, you're such a big star. So when you see you in a video like that, like, you know, with all these other artists, it's just, I don't know, it kind of elevates the whole situation. Oh, boom, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, look, I, if I'm really honest, I didn't really want to apply too much thought to it. I'm a DJ. I like DJ. I know people like to party. So when you do a video like that, you just got to put the party in the video. You know what I mean? You really just have to show that you're having fun of a tune like this, for sure. You know what I mean? So why is it that you love to DJ so much? I'm just curious. I know you've been doing it for quite some time, and I know you're rapping, and, and I know you're now, like, officially an artist. But I'm just wondering, like, what, what drew you to that, considering you're such an accomplished actor? Well, I think, to be honest, I was DJing before I was an actor. So, you know, DJing since I was 14. And, you know, back in the day, I was on pirate radio. I mean, I really wanted to be a DJ. And then the acting was so much like, I just was fast-tracked in a way with acting because, um, I, you know, it was just a perfect timing for me. But I never put down my decks. I always DJed. And so... That's so funny because, you know, I didn't know that until just now that you were actually DJing from that time in your life when you were just really that young. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, my uncle was a DJ. Like, there's there's two other DJs in my family. So, like, we are a family of DJs. We love it. And it's also very humbling for me. It's like, you know, nobody kills you an actor when you're standing behind the decks. They always want to see you spin. And if you don't spin well, you're not a DJ. I, I love DJing. I like making people party. And I like the thrill that I get from that. And it's not easy. You know, you have to apply some thought and skill to it, so... I love, I love it, man. I really love DJ, and I love making music. I mean, you know, I, I've, I've always had a fantasy to be on a big record like Boasty, and here it is. So, you know, dreams work is what I say to people. Dreams actually work. And I know you have other records out, such as, like, Stand By Me with Cranium. So are we going to get, like, some sort of Idris Elba Caribbean-type, like, album? You know, you're going to present a bunch of artists? Like, what's going on? Yeah, look, I think the end game is to, you know, <clears throat> like, I admire aggregators like DJ Khaled, you know I mean? Like, those guys that can put together great records as DJ producers. I think that's the end game for me. I'm going to be an artist, and I'm always going to want to rap on records, but that's not really my goal. I don't want to be here saying I'm a rapper, but I really do like producing and putting talent together and finding talent and putting them on the record. And in my head, when I heard Boasty, I could hear Sean Paul, I could hear Steph London. That's kind of like a DJ doing a, a you know, a remix, a mix. And so I put myself on thinking that they'll be like, okay, great, you just take yourself off, and we've got this other stuff. But they didn't. They loved it, so we just kept moving with it. So Luther is coming back on BBC America, coming back for another season. So tell me what's about to happen this season. I know it's coming back in June, right? Yeah, June 2nd it comes on uh, BBC America. I think it's our biggest, it's our most ambitious um, season. Okay. Um, we have matured over the years. Uh, we still, you know, Luther, you know, Luther plays a certain type of darkness. <laughs> we kept it dark for you guys, but I think we've matured, and you, you'll feel the sense of filmmaking uh, where where my character is in the, in this season. You, I think, you'll see the growth of it. Do you like playing complex characters? Yeah. Yeah, because it seems like you do do that all the time. I'm a complex guy, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I heard that you're playing the villain in Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. Is that true? Are you the villain? That's the truth, yeah. I play a character called Brixton in the, in the, in the film, yeah. So when is that going to be out? I think it's in August. It comes out in August or the end of July. Wow. It's going to be a big, big blockbuster for me. I don't get to make movies like that very often, um, so I'm excited. To see. Everybody's looking forward to that movie so much. Yeah, yeah. The trailers are amazing. Jason Statham and, and, and Dwayne Johnson have an incredible chemistry, so boom. Yeah. And you just directed your first movie called Yardy, and I know that it's been out for a couple months now, but um, what made you decide to like get on the other side of the camera now? Yeah, look, you know, as an actor, directing is always sort of in the next phase of a, uh, you know, a career actor's place because, you, you know, you get to a place where you want to be behind, you want to, you know, steer actors. So I had this opportunity, and by the way, it took like six years to make my first first feature as a, as a director. It took a long time to get off the ground, but I, I have to be honest, it was probably the, one of the better experiences I've had. Working as an actor a long time, and being on, on the other side of the chair was great, you know. Uh, it was, you know, my vision. I could talk to actors in a different way. Um, I got to operate the camera a little bit. It was great. It was incredible. And, you know, I, I come from a West African background, but Caribbean culture, especially Jamaican culture, was very prevalent in my upbringing. So I felt like I re- really could tell this story of, you know, this young Jamaican kid in London. Well, I know the movie's been getting incredible reviews. I definitely want to check it out. So you just got married, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I saw the pictures. We put them up on our website, hot937.com. You married your longtime girlfriend, Sabrina, and the wedding was quite something from what I saw. It happened in Morocco. There was camels there and fire dancers, and wow. (laughs) It was a good time. Um, You know, you you only do one of these things once, and you do it great, and I I had an amazing time. Good to see my family, sad family, our friends are holding that entire network. It was great. It was great. Well, and you, I just saw the pictures, too, from you two at the Met Gala with the camp theme, and you guys just looked amazing. My, see my jacket? I did see your jacket. Versace Liberace. No, oh, wow. Yeah, it was quite It was quite um, busy, but it was really beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I see what you did there. It's very tasteful. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> no, I liked it. I did. I loved the way you two looked. It was just, uh, the pictures are just amazing. So are you going to be out in L.A. for the BET Awards at all? Uh, I don't know. I would like to say yes, but I'm not sure. Scheduling being what it is. Okay, I was hoping to see you guys up on stage, but hey. What's the date? It's uh, <laughs> It's going to be June 23rd. June 23rd. Okay, you never know. Okay, well, maybe we'll see you out there. Congratulations on everything, Idris, really. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. We're going to be looking for the album. We're going to be looking out for the Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw movie. We're going to be looking out for Luther on June 2nd. you got so much going on. And always feel free to call us anytime you got anything going on, okay? Definitely will. I'll take you up on that. And I, I appreciate the love. Thank you for playing Posty. We love it. Of course, we're going to get into that... Right now, it's Hot 937.